Goblin, Sharp, Lightning Quiz, and Leon in a consecutively in loser's round until, of course, we uh, they wound up finishing uh, out in fifth place against Spargo, which you know, just goes to show how good that run really was. We'll be seeing Spargo later on. Until then, it's time to knuckle up. We've got Terry Bogart on screen in Town and City going up against this all-too-familiar Ike in Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be tough, man, because, like, there are some good uh, Terry's online. You know, I don't know if his Soka is still competing, but, you know, there's OG Mustang as well. So there are some Terry's out there that you can be practicing on. But I feel like there's a lot more Ikes in general. So I feel like it's easier for Riddles to have a, a read on how this matchup is going to be going. More so than Yez does. And, oh, my God, this is getting tough to look at right now. Going to get the Aether on stage, putting out a little bit of damage here. But they got to find a way to turn this around because Riddles is on fire to start this off. Yeah, I mean, they brought their fist to a sword fight. That's already some hard body stuff there. And you have no platforms to deal with. Aside from those non-interactivity ones, maybe that gives you a little bit of respite. But you already know Riddles has not really been one to shy away from conflict in the past. Certainly not when it comes to uh, dealing with ledge play against sorties. Yes, also, maybe getting a little too committal with these options. But you know what? You pick that one out, Riddles decides to... Uh, Take that one easy. Yez is going to make them pay for it. The drop down off of the platform and into the back air. There we go. Going to answer right back with the jab, jab, power dunk special from Riddles there. Uh, this is going to be crazy. Like we, So we saw Riddles actually start off pretty hot. And then Yez just fired back immediately. Taking that first stock. I have to put on a lot of good damage here. Look at this. Just creating the space in here. Retreating Nair. Catching Riddles. Getting the Aether. Powering through that back air that Riddles is trying to get going. Riddle's got to wake up here because as soon as long as they started off hot, right? We all just saw it. it's starting to turn off a little bit because yes, he's just kind of extinguishing that fire. And I kind of wonder what led into that. I mean, you're getting these good combos. You're able to tack on the damage to Ike just as much as you are to any other character. You just got to keep on thinking that, you know, your process is good enough to win neutral most of the time, even against an opponent as formidable as as Yez uh, can be, certainly they have uh, proven themselves to be as such. But, I mean, if you're Riddles, you have to think like, okay, just because you lose this stock like you do on the down tilt, on landing, it doesn't necessarily mean you're playing worse. It just means they're taking the stock a little earlier. You have to hold on to that. What's actually kind of crazy about that second stock too is Riddles, I think, was okay with hanging out and like near the blast zone for a little bit because it put them right in the go percentage. But as soon as I got that, they landed into a forward tilt at the ledge from Yez, not even having a chance to get go to be a factor. But look at this, continuing, not only taking that stock, putting on 83% right after that. But here we go, Yez answering back. Yeah, immediately on the warpath, gonna steal their sword, but Riddles. I mean, might have steel fists. We are seeing this Ike go flying. I mean, those gloves must be loaded with buckshot or something. I don't know how someone with that much armor goes flying <laughs> so far, but nevertheless, it's going to be Yez. It's looking to make quick work of this thing. They've been losing a lot of these ground actions on flat ground, and Riddle's putting on more damage in general for the most part. But yeah, it's Yez that's been finishing the job. Town and City ceiling comes in handy for Riddle's, though. Oh, what? <laughs> And that's, see, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, you're talking about, sometimes you just have to have faith that it will work out for you if you keep making the right plays. Just because you're down for a little bit does not mean that you're out. Immediate results does not always dictate how it's going to be all the time. And that game was proof positive of it, Skip. That was a yes moment I've ever saw one, man. I, I... Too often I see Yes competing against some of the best players, and he can beat them, but just somewhere in that set, he's gonna SD. And he tried he tried to close that set out, just could not find the answer, man. Went way too deep, unfortunately. And you know what? Riddle's gonna take that, man. He's gonna take that, run away with it. I mean, summit spot in the line. A w is a W. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, is that it was kept close really all throughout. The first stocks that that were taken really seemed more coincidental than anything else, but we know that these two always play each other really close. Yes, in fact, has a ever so slight lead on them on uh, Riddles in terms of uh, game count. The only win that, uh, the only win that Yes, excuse me, or Riddles was able to take on them was a couple of months ago. 
and uh, by a score of two to nil, they have not played in a long time, actually. But here we are. It's back to TNC for game number two, and Yez going to be right back on it. And having the right idea, trying to get these startups on down tilt. Then again, Skip, I feel like you might be fishing for that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely what he's trying to get going here. Both of them actually would, wouldn't mind getting a down tilt because it could lead into a lot of damage for him. But uh, obviously, you know, with Riddles, it kind of gives a little bit more. Can, even if he doesn't get the actual hit, you know, putting a little pressure on that shield could get a down tilt into possibly a forward tilt and burning knuckle, right? Which breaks shield at that point. And Terry's honestly got just as much skill power as Yez does half, half, half the time. So, I mean, it's just a matter of getting it to work. But Yez is not going to stay, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> still enough for that to even be a factor. He's constantly getting some short hops going on. And even then, just moving back and forth just so he doesn't get caught up in some crazy shenanigans. Uh-oh! There you go, though. The power dunk, but again, good DI by Yez. I mean, Ooh. you don't become a top player online without uh, knowing how to move around defensively. you got to keep yourself alive more than anything else. And that has been part of what's uh -oh. made Yez so dangerous. Of course, there's not a whole lot you can do about that rising tackle. And Riddles is going to take full advantage. And now they're the ones in the driver's seat. Whoa, jeez, oh. they were so close to closing out that stock with that up smash. You saw it started and riddles by the skin of his teeth was able to get a hit in before that. Oh. Our producer Nick Zonak actually saw me jump back. I know they're not going to say anything, but they saw me. Anyway, that is going to be the first stock taken by Yez eventually. But, I mean, this is riddles kind of realizing, you know, the wind in their sails just a little bit. Maybe they can pull away here, and that is going to be that command input burning knuckle. It's going to send Yez off of the stage. Forward throw. Oh, looking for that get up. Yeah, they're 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 really hungry for it, man. Hungry like the wolf, perhaps. Oh, very. Oh, jeez, man, dude, the pressure that Riddles is putting on. They they only got that one hit right there, right, which actually killed Yez. But the pressure of the movement. Putting out some hitboxes just to threaten any any option that Yes could have taken. Just doing that over and over again is absolutely insane. And that's a sign of how good you are as a player. Because you don't have to land a hit. It's about making your opponent feel scared. And I'm sure Yes was nervous. I mean, this is just uh, what we're seeing right now. Riddles look smooth as butter right now. And this is not something that uh, you say lightly, but really just kind of toying around with Yez. It's, that's not a position we see them in often. This is Yez. You're right, it is Yez, but Yez could find a way to turn this around. I mean, I know we're seeing 81% the final stock. Riddle's basically having a whole stock lead at this point, but it could disappear in a moment's notice. I mean, Ike's got some crazy kill power. Great back air, up air scenario. Oh, this could, okay, never mind. He's gonna be able to land that platform just safely. Oh! Well, the thing is, though, I do feel like what we're seeing from Riddles is just knowing that Yez has to get everything. Yeah, they had to get everything from the air. Eventually, those jumps were going to get called out or you're just going to be hitting the shield. Riddles had nothing to worry about, and it was the power geyser, an explosive end to this round as Riddles is going to move on.